Coming up on 12 News Weekend Edition, we'll have the latest update on how West Virginia is handling COVID-19. Plus, we'll stop by the Lewis County Fair and show you what it had in store. And sunny skies for our Sunday with temperatures remaining in the 70s. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Working for you. This is WBOY, now in high definition. 12 News Weekend Edition starts now. Good evening and welcome to 12 News Weekend Edition. I'm Jake Ostrove. Let's take a look now at your first forecast. Alicia Hatcher is standing by in the Storm Tracker 12 Weather Lab with more. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Jake. So a nice afternoon that we had just a slight few showers that we rolled into in the afternoon flowing into our evening. But right now, taking a look over in Fairmont by the Gateway Connector, quiet evening, a few lingering clouds, but temperatures are looking nice as well. 55 right now in Buchanan, 58 in West Union, 54 in Clarksburg, and 50 in Davis. As we continue to move through our evening, we do drop down to the mid to low 40s throughout the region with some parts Partly cloudy skies. There is a slight chance we could see some fog in the valleys late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And I'll have your full forecast coming up in just a bit. Jake. Thanks, Alicia. Upshur County Sheriff's deputies have arrested a man who they say kidnapped and sexually assaulted a woman. The woman told deputies that 53 year old William Parker kidnapped her from the Cheat Lake area of Monongalia County. Deputies go on to say that the woman told them that Parker beat her with a baseball bat, held a knife to her throat, and sexually assaulted her multiple times. The woman was able to call 911 on Thursday to report that she was being held against her will. Deputies were able to track the woman to Point Santa Drive in Tenerton, where they say she was tied up inside of a pickup truck. Parker has been charged with first degree sexual assault and kidnapping. After an increase of active COVID cases yesterday, there is a slight decrease today. According to the DHHR, there are 16,015 active cases across the state, a little more than 200 cases fewer than yesterday's report. No deaths were reported in today's report. The total number of deaths since the start of the pandemic is at 3,523. There are currently 977 COVID patients in the hospital, 28 fewer from yesterday. A late night decision from the director of the CDC will qualify up to 60 million Americans for boosters, adding to older people, frontline workers like teachers and healthcare workers. The committee focused on Americans 65 and up and younger people at high risk from COVID. It's a rare display of daylight between a CDC boss and an advisory panel. It brings COVID response policy closer to President Biden's aim of booster shots for all. NBC's Miguel Almagar reports. As booster shots rolled out today, long lines in cities like San Antonio. It was well worth it. I feel uh, that, you know, I'm, I'm more protected. The pool of Americans eligible suddenly expanded overnight. In a rare, unexpected move, the CDC director breaking with guidance from the agency's own safety committee. In addition to those 65 and up in long term care facilities and with certain medical conditions, the CDC director deciding health care workers and others at high risk of catching COVID because of their jobs would also be eligible for a third dose of Pfizer's vaccine six months after being vaccinated. Those on the front lines in hospitals and classrooms and those in crowded settings who have put themselves in harm's way on a daily basis. I must do what I can to preserve the health across our nation. 50 year old Mike Ryan is a manager at a grocery store. The last thing I want to do is get sick or bring something home to my family. Good morning, everyone. Today, the president also announcing he's eligible. I'll be getting my booster shot. Saying he's among the 20 million Americans who qualify while also acknowledging the millions who don't because they got Moderna or Johnson & Johnson. My message for you is this. You still have a high degree of protection. Our doctors and scientists are working day and night to analyze the data from those two organizations. 
on whether and when you need a booster shot. We know for adults over 65, vaccine efficacy is waning, but we're only talking about booster shots for those with Pfizer. What about those with Moderna and Johnson and Johnson? What message does that send? Well, I think it sends a complicated message because we're saying, in fact, they're at risk of severe disease. They should be boosted. And then we'll say, for the 50% of you who didn't get Pfizer, good luck with your disability. You, we will have to wait. Tonight, for many, the anxious wait, while for others, long-awaited relief. The Monongalia County Quick Response Team held a Saving Life Day around the county today. Thirteen different locations offered free naloxone or Narcan and training on how to administer the medication to anyone that came to one of their locations. Many volunteers at each location were involved with the Quick Response Team and also in recovery themselves. Volunteers are hoping events like this can help those struggling with addiction and help save lives. So basically our goal today is to get the naloxone in the hands of normal people. You know, we are, we're not turning anybody away and of course we want to get this in the hands of everybody. I've been a survivor of overdose a couple times. I am out here volunteering my time on my Saturday and I'm grateful to be doing it. Get back a little bit. The Mon County QRT is funded through the Mon County Health Department and is a collaboration of first responders to help those struggling with substance addictions, both immediately and longer term. The Lewis County Fair hosted its final day with plenty of family fun by getting back to the basics. The fair featured Barnyard Olympic Games, West Virginia Pee Wee and Youth Rodeo, and a car show. There are also carnival rides and plenty of fair food favorites. Fair organizers say that they are excited to be able to host a fair that is true to their heritage and roots in the county. I think having the rodeo this year, this is the first time we've ever done a rodeo. So I think I think having that gives you more of the fair feel, the old school fair feel with all the animals, the rides, the funnel cakes, the cotton candy, the apples. It just ties it all in together. Because of COVID-19, Lewis County Fair officials say they did their best to social distance things as much as possible, separating the events while still providing a fun, safe atmosphere. Dave's famous T&L Hot Dogs, Oldies Diner, and the Clarksburg Rosebud Plaza hosted its 25th anniversary with a cruise-in. Throughout the summer, the diner hosts cruise-ins for those car enthusiasts to show off their classic and unique cars. Owners of Dave's T&L Hot Dogs say they enjoy hosting the cruise-ins every Saturday night during the summer and having bands out to perform. This is the first one that we've done as far as having the live band and drawing bigger crowds because of the pandemic. We didn't do anything in 2020 and uh, our July car cruise actually got rained out. So this is the first one that we would call our big cruise in. Organizers say they expect a few hundred cars to take part in the cruise in and that it is great for the businesses in the Rosebud Plaza shopping complex. Coming up next on 12 News Weekend Edition, we'll take you out to the Pop Off Festival. That plus a look at weather and both high school and collegiate sports coming up in just a bit. Mac Mini and the entire Romeo family invite you to join our brand new Honda dealership in Morgantown. We're excited to be in West Virginia. Joe Romeo's I-79 Honda, West Virginia's newest Honda dealer. All across this country, a nation of doers, fighters, and dreamers are beginning a new day with hope for tomorrow. Because our future doesn't belong to the lighthearted, it belongs to the brave. There's a new morning program which will celebrate the best of us. This is news for all America. It's morning in America. This would be a big win for Freedom Kia. He'll make the right choice. He's got this. Hey. Welcome to the team, Major. Hey, thanks. 
With the major deals you have, I had to choose Freedom Kia here in Clarksburg. Major Harris made the right choice. Now you should too. Get your new vehicle, Freedom Kia of Clarksburg. Or visit freeakiaofclarksburg.com. Team up with Right Roofing, LLC. Your roof is more than just a decorative finish on top of your home or office. It's a large investment and protects your interior from the elements. If you need roof repairs or roof replacement services, make sure you choose a skilled roofing contractor for the job. Right Roofing, LLC is a roofing company in Buchanan, West Virginia, with extensive experience working with all types of materials. No matter what kind of roofing system you use, you can rely on us for quick, high-quality service. Ask for a free estimate on asphalt, rubber, or metal roofing services when you contact us today. Mac Mini and the entire Romeo family invite you to join a brand new Honda dealership in Morgantown. We're excited to be in West Virginia. Joe Romeo's I-79 Honda, West Virginia's newest Honda dealer. Follow Snowbird through all weather on WBOI. Brought to you by St. Joseph's Hospital. Working for you, this is 12 News Weekend Edition. Welcome back. The WVU Arboretum held its third annual West Virginia Paw Paw Festival this afternoon. The festival included paw paw tastings, prepared paw paw dishes, paw paws for purchase, live music, food trucks, lawn games, and more. Hundreds came by to enjoy the Appalachian fruit and enjoy the beautiful weather. Officials with the Arboretum say they hope to educate the public about the fruit. You know, I enjoy working at the Arboretum um, throughout the year. You know, the spring ephemeral wildflowers are spectacular, but, but there is really something special about the pawpaw season, um, partly because uh, we get to introduce these people to this delicious fruit that is growing wild here, that, that tastes tropical, you know, but also partly because um, people can take the seeds and grow them, and so many people have had success doing that. Pawpaws are typically right around this time of year. Now, the area's most accurate forecast, Storm Tracker 12 weather. Certified storm ready and powered by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration, the official cleaning and restoration company of the West Virginia Mountaineers. A nice Saturday for us here in the Mountain State. We saw a few showers earlier this afternoon that rolled into our evening, but right now looking very nice over in downtown Clarksburg. Some Mostly cloudy skies, but those temperatures are looking nice. 54 on the mild side with that wind on the calm side. There are a few lingering clouds that is continuing to move throughout our region that we're going to see later on tonight that will flow into Sunday morning. Temperatures right now are looking nice. 54 right now in Grafton, 56 in Weston, 54 in Middleburn, and 50 in Davis. We're like I was stating, we'll still have a chance to see a few showers, mainly in the mountains for later on tonight, but that will move out of our region for our Sunday looking very very nice for us as well. In the morning, mostly sunny skies, a few clouds that pass on by here and there, but overall looking very nice for us for our Sunday. Going into our Monday, the same thing will repeat itself. A few lingering clouds pass on by, but overall mostly sunny skies. And the same pattern goes for our Tuesday. There is a slight chance we could see a few showers for our Monday uh, evening going into our Tuesday where we, there's a chance there will be a few isolated showers, but nothing too bad, just a few uh, hit or miss showers just like today. Tonight, the low is in the 40s, 47, with some partly cloudy skies that turns into a mostly sunny day for our Sunday. Just a chance we could see some valley fog to start off our morning. We'll be in the 40s overall throughout our region, in the lower 40s in the mountains, of course, and like I was stating, those partly cloudy skies to start off our Sunday 49 and then we jump up to the 70s so looking very nice so you have a chance to go hiking and enjoy that last day of that weekend and to start off that new work week just like I was stating a few chance to see if you hit or miss showers but things will start cooling golf towards the end of the week hopefully we'll continue to see uh, th this nice weather with all, all the sun and these mild evenings that we're having, Jake. Now look at that seven-day forecast, right? Every day is nice and warm, sunny. You love to see that. But then it gets cool just when it, you know, the sun goes away. Exactly. Fall is 
in full swing right now. It really did. You know, once a 20-second hit, it, Mother Nature it's said it's down. time. <laughs> but it's that just right weather. <laughs> Absolutely. And the Mountaineer football team lost a tough one at the last second against Oklahoma. But that wasn't the only competition this weekend for WVU. Nick Farrell has more in your Mountaineer Minute. West Virginia's woes against the Big 12's top team continue in Norman. After another loss to number four Oklahoma, the Mountaineers remain winless against the Sooners as a member of the Big 12 Conference. Their overall road losing streak also continues. Neil Brown and company haven't won a true road game since November 2019. You'll find complete postgame coverage from the Palace on the Prairie at GoldenBlueNation.com. It was a busy day of action for several Golden Blue teams, including the men's soccer squad, which extended its unbeaten streak to start the season. Dan Stratford's side is now undefeated in eight straight matches after a 4-0 drubbing of St. Bonaventure. Big one coming up Thursday for the number four Mountaineers. They'll open MAC play at home against Akron. And another victory for the West Virginia volleyball squad, which took down Oklahoma for the second day in a row. Another four set victory for the Mountaineers at the Coliseum. They're now 12 and 1 overall and 2 and 0 in league play to start the season. That's the latest on the Mountaineers. In Morgantown, I'm Nick Farrell. Stay connected. Download the 12 News app now. Spend more time with your family and less time in the kitchen. Order homemade family-style meals to go from the caboose. Come join us for Manja Mondays. All pasta, buy one, get one half off. Don't forget to join us for Fish Bowl Fridays. Enjoy dining at the caboose where you'll always feel at home. Manja, Manja! The caboose, come eat at our house. Manja! As the local area begins reopening, we just want to remind you that Valley Healthcare System has continued to remain open in providing ongoing local behavioral health care. If you need services or have questions, call us today. Spruce up your home for the upcoming holidays with Jack's Furniture Fall Season Sales Event. Fall into savings with discounts of up to 60% off our everyday sale price. Additional discount for cash or up to four years free financing. Many showroom items available for immediate delivery. Bedrooms, dining rooms, living rooms, mattress sets, and all accessories available with huge fall savings. Fall in autumn with our biggest fall sale ever. Going on now at Jack's Furniture Center, East Point, Clarksburg. Oh, yes. Someone has a question back Hello? There. Hello? Hi, uh, Carl from Waukegan. I was just wondering about your Caesar Sportsbook app, and I did some digging, and apparently I can only get my Caesars rewards on the Caesar Sportsbook app? Yes, Carl. Okay. Only Caesars is going to be able to give you Caesars rewards. They're my rewards. Why would someone else give them to you, Carl, if it's called Caesars rewards? It's Caesars rewarding you. For millions of people in America, a daily meal is a choice between food and other crucial needs, like medicine, electricity, or childcare. How will you choose to end hunger? For the best price, service, and selection on the world's number one selling farm tractor, shop our convenient location, exit 121 off I-79. What drives you? Shop Toyota for legendary safety and reliability. Toyota, let's go places. Buyatoyota.com is designed for speed. From the performance of our cars to the time it takes you to get all the information you want. And get a 360 view of the model you're looking for. Then check out special deals from leases to cash back from Toyota. Plus a couple of years of no cost maintenance is included. And check out tools to help estimate monthly payments, trade in values, then connect with a dealer. Now's the time to go Toyota and let's go places. And now it's time for the 12 Sports Zone, brought to you by Toyota. Saturdays are for college football. Multiple Mountain East Conference games played around the region today, including at West Virginia Wesleyan College. The Bobcats and newly named head coach Dwayne Martin looking for their first win of the season against West Liberty. 
Former WVU quarterback Jack Allison gets off to a good start for the toppers. Since a 25-yard pass that's caught in the end zone by Isaiah Robinson, Allison went 16 for 23, 229 passing yards and two scores in this game. That puts the first points on the board. West Lib up 7-0. Bobcats never could answer a few promising drives, including this play as Nathan Payne connects with Jujuan Lindsay, gains some yardage there, but doesn't turn it into any points for the Bobcats. Some success in the air, too. Lindsay again with a nice catch here. But the Bobcats struggled to find the end zone. That resulting in West Virginia Wesleyan falling 31 to nothing to West Liberty. Bobcats still searching for their first win of the season. Things didn't fare well for two more local MEC teams. Glenville State suffers the loss to Wheeling, and Alderson Broadus falls to Charleston by a large margin. But Fairmont State, a comeback win for the Falcons, 30 to 27. Falcons were down, but pulled it out in the final minutes of play for Jason Woodman and company's first win of the season. High school soccer action now. Robert C. Bird hosting Herbert Hoover. Bird tries to score early. Ball played a little too far up. Huskies keeper grabs a hold of it there. Then the Huskies get a good chance here. They have momentum towards the goal, but the shot goes slightly left. Bird off the hook there. Another chance shortly after for the Huskies. A pop-up off the corner kick. But Bella Rock is there to scoop it up. This one goes scoreless into the halftime break. Then Nevaeh Simmons breaks through in the second half. She scores the Eagles' lone goal, and Bird wins 1-0 the final score. A couple of other scores from around the region in boys soccer, Woodrow Wilson and Buchanan Upshur. And in a scoring draw, high scoring draw, I should say, 4-4. Four to four. And Robert C. Bird takes down Winfield by one goal. That goal was scored by Alex Bovino. Also 10 saves for Bird keeper Cam Clark. The Catch of the Week is brought to you by Salem University. Built on tradition, focused on the future. Taking a look at the Catch of the Week nominees from last night, many great catches. These three rose to the top. First one from Clarksburg, Robert C. Bird airing it out. Nathaniel Junkins leaping for the grab. What a catch. Watch this one in slow-mo. You can barely see him, but nonetheless, he makes the grab there. Next catch from, comes from who else? Ritchie County's Gus Morrison. Look at this catch in slow-mo as well. Gus Morrison in traffic, fighting with a few bulldogs there, but gets a hold of it. What a catch by Morrison. Now to Tigers Valley, Garrett Gibson with the catch here. Nice play by Gibson for the simple catch for the Bulldogs. Not only the catch, but what happens after this catch is great in this one. Time now for the Stan Kimeon Insurance Coverage of the Week. Time for our Coverage of the Week segment. Some great defensive plays this week in Week 5, but only two in the running for this week's best coverage play. First one comes from West Union. Ritchie County fires a pass, but it's Brandon Heilman on the other end. The context is what really made this play even better. What an interception there for the Bulldog. And next, we have a play from the Colts. Caden Humphreys just comes out of nowhere here. I didn't even expect this to happen when I first saw this play, but what a play in the Colts' first win of the season. And don't go anywhere. A final check on your forecast coming up after the break. Stay with us. And I bought my first tractor here. They treated me great when I came in and bought my second one. They didn't forget who I was. People need to shop Mahindra of Clarksburg. Our freedoms are worth protecting and defending. That's why I joined the Army. But I didn't serve to see billionaires run our country. And when politicians make it harder to vote, I take it personally. Senator Manchin won't have it either. He won't let the old ways of Washington stop him from doing what's right. He's got a plan to crack down on corruption, end dark money, and secure our elections. Thank you, Senator. That's the kind of leadership we deserve. I'm Dan Cavill with Dan Cavill's Toyota World in Fairmont and Dan Cavill's Buick and GMC in Clarksburg. Because we're under construction building our new Buick GMC store in Bridgeport, all of our used cars are located between our two lots in Fairmont and on Old Bridgeport Hill in Clarksburg. And with over 100 local trades, I'm sure that we'll have a car that'll fit your needs. We've always given top dollar for trades, but if you want to sell your car, you can come see us for that too. Dan Cavus Buick GMC and Dan Cavus Toyota World in Fairmont. Shop the world. Welcome to the new White's Fine Jewelry located at the Middletown Commons in Whitehall, West Virginia. We can't wait to show you around our new store.
celebrate new beginnings with a gift from White Spine Jewelry. WBOY TV, a Next Star Media Group station, is regulated by the FCC. Pursuant to FCC regulation, the complete WBOY TV public inspection file is available to the public at the main studio of the station, located at 904 West Pike Street, Clarksburg, West Virginia, 26301, Monday through Friday from 8:30 a.m. to 5 p.m. In addition to the extent required by FCC regulation, the WBOY public inspection file available online at FCC. Gov and at the WBOY TV website, WBOY.com. By clicking on the FCC public inspection file link at the bottom of the WBOY TV website homepage, the WBOY TV public inspection file includes but is not limited to Form 398 children's television reports, certifications of compliance with children's television rules, and quarterly lists of programs providing the station's most significant treatment of community issues and certain political files. Welcome back. The Montegalia County Solid Waste Authority held an electronics recycling event this morning for county residents. The event, called e-cycling, was held outside of the Sam's Club at University Town Center in Granville. Things that were accepted include old computer towers, monitors, printers, and more, all for recycling and repurposing. Throwing electronic devices into landfills can be hazardous. It can also be classified as illegal. Officials were thankful to see a good turnout to help keep electronics out of landfills. I'm so thankful to Susan and PC Renault because this for us is such a big event of knowing that people really want to keep these items out of landfills. I'm just really excited for everybody to come out and we hope to have this again next year. The e cycling was made possible by PC Renewal and several volunteers from throughout the county. Now, before we say goodbye, here's Alicia with your final forecast. Well, things will be, remain quiet for the rest of our evening. There's a slight chance we could potentially see some fog later on tonight, but temperatures will be in the 40s overall throughout our entire region. And things will be looking very nice for us for tomorrow. So hopefully you have some ch a chance to go out and enjoy the outdoors while we still can with these temperatures looking very nice for us. To start off our work week, everything is looking pretty nice. Just a chance to see a few showers in the evening that will roll into our our Tuesday, but then by midweek, hopefully, mostly sunny skies to finish it out. Well, that'll just about do it for all the time we have on this weekend edition. Thanks for joining us. Have a good evening.